It would probably help if I had the sound on, wouldn't it? Continue. So, where were we? Oh, right. That's right. I just went into the police station. That's right. I figured it out. Remember how there was that guy who was, like, sniffing the door at the gas station and he didn't, he had an eavesdrop option but it wasn't lit up? I bet you anything, if I go back to that guy, he's the solution to that thing. Do you think I can leave? Fuck. Where was it? How did I get in? Where's the door? Sure, there's more clues here. Oh, I want you to go back out and fix the investigation. Well, I'm sure I'll go back out later. That's annoying, but never mind. Right, what we got? Don't know why that comes up every time. I have learned that. Hey, oh. Baxter. You still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. Baxter's relationship with the witness's mother. The truth about Baxter is only two things. Baxter is still working on the Bell Keller case even though he's been reassigned. Quals wonder if Baxter hated Ron enough to kill him. That was the entire story about Baxter. Right, well if I can't go out the door... Then I might as well go back to the room I was in. Oh well. Actually, maybe not, because that's the investigation. Maybe I should explore a bit then. Oh, look at Doggo! Um, that dog has a human face. Uh, huh. Gotta be able to bring him down somehow. Nail this monster. Killer scares the crap out of me. Could a whole SWAT team take this guy? What we got in the vending machine? Chips, snacks, crackers, fruit, raisins, soup. Soup? Soup in the vending machine? Ooh, what's in here? Oh, I can poltergeist this stuff. Missing persons report. There's 39 things about the killer. Jeez, oh. Jennifer Gelbach, female, white, slim bill, last seen by friends in Ashland Hill Cemetery after a party with fellow cheerleaders missing two days. We saw, we saw Ashland Hill Cemetery when we were, uh, kicking about in the town. I can't tell you anything, son. I'm not in homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. I just... Do cops get killed a lot no i wouldn't say it happens a lot i've been on the force nearly 20 years and i'm still alive shakes you up when it does happen though maybe more because it doesn't happen often not that we want it to happen more often i want to get out in the field someday of course this has just been a rough day listen young man we're all gonna have rough days good thing is we're mostly gonna survive it is it even safe in the police station? I just hope I live long enough to be an old cop. This guy's having none of it. Um, seven more. The stalwart Spectre. I thought maybe that would spook that guy, but it didn't do anything. The scary dog face with a human face is over here too. Ooh. 1775 Fortress Plaque. In this place stood a noble fortress against the forces of the British Crown erected in 1775. Cool. Cool beans. Um. Sleepy town like this. Nothing to worry about. Apart from the serial killer. Wow. Who's he? Why is he in white? Sometimes a desk job looks good. What's his job then? He's like, I'm not in homicide, but how come you've got like a white like sailor's outfit on? What about this guy? He can't even be possessed. He doesn't give the slightest fuck about what's going on. Stop doing that. Ooh. I can poltergeist the coffee machine. 
There's coffee going everywhere, lads. Um. Guys, look. This spur machine is spitting shit out. Witness description of clothing. Witness said she saw a man in a dark hoodie matching the public description. Dark pants and shoes did not get a good look at his face. I go in here? Oh, it's the loo. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. Even in this pre-COVID world, they were really keen on hand washing. And as they should be, don't be stinky bastards. Keep emotion out of it. Just gotta do our work. Cops, gotta stick together. We gotta work. Work to work this out. Oh, not a morgue. No more dead cops, please. Have I mentioned before that nothing good ever happens in video games when there's a morgue? That, like, ruins my life every single time. There are so many cops in here and I imagine they all say the same pointless shit, so I'm not going to possess a lot of them. Um, oh yay, demons. Okay, I don't see any demons around here. G. Soderberg, Police Progress. The rocks in her pockets could point to suicide or a dare by classmates. There's no evidence of violence and no current suspects. What the hell? He's playing Deus Ex! Human Revolution. He's playing Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'm taking a screenshot of that. That's hilarious. He's also playing Deus Ex. How did Ronan make detectives so fast? Detectives get all the glory. Sorry, you should maybe be thinking about the fact that you're playing Deus Ex when you're supposed to be working. Gee, Soderberg. Oof. Personal info. Greta Soderberg. Female, 17 years old. Death occurred one meet before high school graduation. Oh, that's gross. Oh, no. Poor girl. Was the last time a badge from here died on <laughs> Ronan's the first. Why does no one react? No one gives a shit. I can't stand this something. Get this shit. Something. I should probably just cause two. KK and Inspector. I should probably go and like actually do the investigation. I'm just so nosy. 1777 battle plaque. On this spot in January 1777, the brave soldiers of the Continental Army, greatly outnumbered, held off British forces for three days until relief arrived from Boston. We can end this war in Yorktown, cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there's someone else we need, I know, Hamilton. 1776 battle plaque. It was here in 1776 that 13 soldiers of the Continental Army gave their lives combating a surprise attack by British troops. British General has got troops on the harbor. 33,000 troops in New York Harbor. Poop stinks. Everyone is a victim of the system. Ben. Benny? We are not responsible. The lassie from GTA 5. Um, that's not. I don't know who that is. Privileges. So you're entitled to food, clothing, shelter, and medical attention. Anything else that you get as a privilege. When they surround our troops. See Nelson, please progress. How many folk has this dude killed? There are no, still no suspects in the case. Accident has not been ruled out, but the only evidence of foul play was a bell symbol drawn with a felt pen. No prints on the pen. This guy sucks. 
Wait, is that the morgue? Oh, a holding area. See Nelson personal info. Clear Anna Nelson, female, 20 years old student. What a dick. I hate this. I hate the bell killer. You can fuck off. I'm not generally a fan of serial killers, but this guy really does seem like a dick. Proper dish canoe. Alright, maybe I should go and do this on an investigation. I don't know if these two are maybe saying anything to each other. They're not, so they're just going to be talking shit. I'm not possessing every dude, because half the time they don't say anything useful anyway. Right, where's... It's through here. No, sir. I'd be very interested to know that myself. He's on the phone. Right. Let's yeah, see Captain. them. No, I'm sorry, what? Bell symbol research. We should try what? Is this connected to the bell color symbol? suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Ah, so he has the brother-in-law. So you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now. That's an order. Poor Rex, because his sister's already died, and now his brother-in-law is dead. So he's not having a good time. Rex is frustrated by the lack of evidence or progress in my murder. Uh. Oh, I can influence them, but probably not. Let's have a look. Murder, murder locati. There we are. Map of the bell color murders. The bell color murders have occurred all over town in random locations. There doesn't appear to be a common link to where they happen. Well, that's not useful. Victims. Links between murders. The victims on the board were young women with no signs of sexual assault. See, he's not a young woman. He's a he's a man. So But then I don't think he got killed. I, I don't think that's why he got killed somehow. But I don't know. Ooh, suspect lineup. Sex two, two hundred and fifteen pounds, athletic, Caucasian, blue. Always seen in a mask or hood. Oh, please think the bell color has blue eyes. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't get a good look at his face when I confronted him. Update to reflect recent developments, Stuart. Join Cassandra Foster. Stuart wanted something about this updated because of recent developments. What happened? Okay, he's got nothing for me. Are you sure? Hasn't screwed up yet, but he will. Who? Gotta remind myself. This killer's flesh and blood. Oh right, the killer hasn't screwed up yet. I was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> you talking about Rex? Are you shit talking Rex? But he's not shit talking Rex. Ah, I can't influence him yet, so I must not have the stuff to do so. But I think this is the only room. I don't see anything else. So if I go out here, yeah, it'll go back to that. Um, nobody bothers listening to my poltergeist thing. Killer's symbol. Crime scene signature. The symbol of the bell killer leaves at his murder scenes. What does a bell have to do with murders? I mean, what did the zodiac symbol have to do with murders? Some serial killers are just a bit weird, you know? Sometimes they just... Maybe he just likes bells. Maybe he had a cat when he was a kid. You don't know. 
Maybe he loves Christmas. It could be literally anything. God, I thought you were supposed to be the cop, pal. Can I possess? What do I? What am I missing? Like this looks like a pile of stuff that I could look at, but it ain't. Now I've got, like, all of Hamilton stuck in my head. Wish I could say that's the oh, there we go. Cause of death, ligature strangulation. Trauma to the neck and larynx via gar garroting. Severe abrasions to the wrists and ankles, most likely the result of being bound by hemp rope. Consistent with all other bell color murders, ruling homicide. Oh. It's the white dude from the front desk. Oh, he's in his chair now. Pass on a victim deaths. All the victims were bound, tied up before their murder. Influence. What would make him remember what he should be doing? Oh, there's one thing I'm missing. Body arrived at morgue at 8.14pm, cause of death pending autopsy, preliminary forensics, no fibres, no suspect, blood, DNA, no prints. Any lean that leads in my case. The killer is so skilled at this point he would never leave anything traceable behind. Police didn't find lead. One of the best sightings of the bell colour and they didn't find any traceable evidence or leads. Yeah, these cops suck, huh? Right, this dude. What would make him remember what he should be doing? What does he mean? Oh wait, he was meant to be doing... He was meant to be updating this, wasn't he? He's sure. Missing person's file update. He just updated the file on the missing tenants. It might have information that's useful. Cassandra Foster, 42, resident of Regal Apartments, professional psychic medium and criminal profiler, occasional consultant for the Salem Police Department, last seen by neighbours two weeks ago, no criminal record. Joy Foster, her legal guardian, as her mother, Cassandra Foster. Whereabouts of her father are unknown. Dropped out of Salem school system two years ago, ran away from home, has a number of misde misdemeanor convictions, juvenile, trespassing, burglary, and breaking and entering. Amber Lott for Joy Foster cancelled in custody. What did he update about the missing tenants? witnesses in custody. The Amber Alert was cancelled because the witness is in custody here at the station. She would probably be in the holding cells. Alright, oh, so she came here to get she came here to get the stuff about the case or whatever. Her mum's her mum's file and they've put her in a holding cell, <laughs> apparently. I think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. Um Let's go investigate up here. Okay, we should be good for now. Review my life. Mr. Baxter tried- <laughs> Oh god, so doing as usual and recording fine for 20 minutes and then uh, deciding that it's just gonna shit the bed and crash. Um, I don't know why it insists on doing this like every time, but we're back anyway. Uh... Like, it just, it always does it, like, it will record fine for, like, 20 minutes, or, like, 15 minutes, and then I'll be like, what if I just broke? And it's just so annoying, like, why? I, A. Grace. Anne Grace, no legal middle name. Same. Female, 22 years old, no immediate family, publicly went by the name Madam Agatha, a novelty fortune teller. Hmm. 
Honestly, this guy has so many victims. This is awful. Um, the poltergeist things are annoying because I can't tell from a distance what's like a poltergeist and what's something that I can read. And I don't really care about your poltergeist things. I just want to read stuff. Okay, you're probably boring. First floor office is holding area and morgue. Ah, so we probably do want to be in this floor then because we want to go to the holding cells. Visit to the station. I used to go visit Rex at the station, but it's been years, so when I went with Ronan today it was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by a room they've got dedicated to the Bell Killer case. Everything they know, or even guess, might be related. It's in that room. The strange energy of the people coming in and out of that room, you'd think there was some religious observance going on in there. I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. Can I go through there? Alright, it's just the hallway again. Kay Douglas. Karen Marie Douglas, female, 37 years of age, accountant, unmarried, no criminal record, no violent relationships, socially known for Wednesday night Ouija board parties. Alright. Virtually no evidence at the scene of foul play, except bell symbol, no prints or DNA, no immediate suspects. But we have 75 thingy jigs, things that we've collected. Healed, buddy. That sickness she carried in her brain, you made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Oh. Rex's thoughts. Rex is grateful to Rona for helping Julia through her mental illness. Oh, she had mental illness? I didn't know. So we just got like... <laughs> Rex and Baxter's stories were super short, but we got trophies for them, so I'm not complaining. Uh... Three more of these to collect. Ronan gets his badge. Big day, I never thought this would happen. Between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past, so much could go wrong, but it happened. And my man has a badge now. It looks good in him and he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. God, I love a guy in uniform. Managing. So what was Ronan in his past that Rex had to manage? Ronan's trouble with the law. I always knew there'd been trouble, but I didn't know his official arrest records was that extensive. Ooh. Much worse than I thought. Felony after felony, going back to childhood. It's like his life was already ruined. How can I join my life with his? Ooh, intriguing. What were you doing, Ronan? What's with this random lassie that's in the wall everywhere? Plain clothes cop. It was quite a trick Rex pulled, advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him most effective as a plainclothes cop. Ronan was very relieved. Why, was somebody going to come and fight him because he was, like, betraying or something? Two more left to uncover the story. Have we done here? No, but there's nothing here. S. Smith. Uh, I want to see if I can blow over his takeaway box. This room's been ransacked, or someone's just really untidy. Whose room is this? Champion. Oh, it's Baxter's office. Ah, that says a lot. Fucking Baxter. Right, um... Where are the holding cells then? You two are creeping me out. Um, oh, did I look around in here? I don't know if I did. 
I've completely lost all sense. Okay, I don't see anything. What's over here? Alright, okay, that's the mezzanine. Alright, where am I going then? There was definitely a sign on the wall somewhere. But now I can't remember where it was. First floor offices holding area morgue. I mean, it says... Oh, do I need to go back downstairs then? Are we on the second floor? Because I was thinking this is the first floor, but do you mean... First floor is ground floor. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, Marg offices, detective offices. Where's the holding cells then? Records division. Like, I feel like I was at... I'm sure I was at the holding something. Is it up the back here? Holding area, yeah. Oh, here she is now. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. Alright. His office. <laughs> He's just office automatically like Baxter, office. obviously. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. We gonna poltergeist the camera. Whoops. How did that happen? Is she alright? She's running like a plonker. Wait, do I have to try and like get her through the place or something? Is that what we're doing here? Um Ugh. Yeah, we definitely can't go that way because there is a demon. Oh right, I'm just supposed to talk to her. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. He's okay. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. Witness, cop. Um. Stay low, go faster than that. This, I was wondering why there was so much stuff that I could poltergeist for no reason, but yeah, here we go. Um. Time to move, girl. Damn machine. Um. 
Speed up, girl. How does he not see her? Come on. Okay, let's go. Oh wait, not through here. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't Why I? is he just walking into the demon pit? Kill Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? <laughs> Look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or Think anything creepy. This doesn't make us live in. I sell over outfit. Okay, man, get out. I got this. And we're off again. Okay, his office says this one here? No, it's the one that's a tap. Where is it? This one. Is she stuck? Yeah. <sighs> it was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh. The desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? You can receive psychic flashes from certain objects by pinpointing sounds denoting the strength, strongest psychic energy. Oh, we did this early, didn't we? And I didn't really get it. I can't hear anything. Looks like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Oh. Proof. That's why Baxter doesn't like him. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. Need to find the witness mother's book. Rex prevented Baxter from blackmailing me and using my criminal record against me. Go Rex, we love Rex. Bragging. So that's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? Oh, it's bowling. Okay, I did not get that. Take it out of town. Why would Baxter leave town? Oh, insights in the killer's motive. Changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the 
police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. Pattern of behaviour on the killer's motives that the police are not seeing is the focus of Joy's mother, but she's having trouble convincing them to take it seriously. No message. Someone left a message on Baxter's voicemail. Four of ten? Yeah, just in this room. Hey, can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Baxter had the book. Baxter probably had the book somewhere in his office because Rex was still looking for it. Promotion commendation. Manny was so proud of making detective. Serve and protect. Baxter graduated from the academy two years before I did. Terrors of 1692, Salem's disgrace. Baxter's been reading about Salem's history. Doesn't seem like something he would care about. Maybe he just, you know, wanted to go and see that exhibit at the museum and wanted to read up on it. Maybe you're just really judgy, Ronan. What about that? Come on, we have to find that journal. I'm fucking looking, darling. Ooh. What caused that mark on the wall? Oh, let me see. Yeah, it matches the gun rack. It's a stain. And it's imprinted? Someone's moved the gun rack. The gun rack actually opens on hinges like it's covering a secret compartment or area. How incredibly... Scooby-Doo. Head and lever? There must be a latch that opens inward, I better tell, I better tell the girl. The strange latch secures the gun rack on one side. That's not normal. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is. Haha. <laughs> Very sneaky. Please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, t crap. <sighs> Joy. Wait, what is that? History Museum. Museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Ooh. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. I love how he's like, oh, I better hide. Like he's not a fucking ghost. Gala invitation. A Salem History Museum gala flyer. Why would this be in her mother's book? Oh shit. Um... Ah, eh. Now's your chance. Okay, 
Okay, she's hiding again. But from what? No one's looking. That's maybe? Why isn't she moving? There's not anyone here. Oh. I didn't realize. I thought I would see if there was a top. Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? The cop you need to avoid. All right, you're going to need to make a break from over there. We'll wait for my signal. Hey, LT. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Who's with me? Well, is she related to Udini? You know, from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch up. Hey, uh, you know, I'm just wondering. He was top notch. Oh. The boy's bad with Anna. No, I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, it's the only reason to trample on his grave. He wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? Because he thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. It would make it right or better, or maybe prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumors, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the wrong so, side of the prison. So, no, no, it's, not, not Sarge, it's okay. That, Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought, right? I'm here to tell you, that sort of bravery is a rare thing these days. You didn't have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try to hide who he was. I'm sorry, sir. But, uh, it's been hard on everyone. What did I just say about life? Mm -mm. Rob, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Crap. Hmm. Chase the witness outside. Yay, I can go back into the town. I didn't find all those guns for that story. Really concerned that I'm gonna like fuck up and not get all the collectibles. Get away that easy. And I really do want to get all the collectibles. Watch, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? What would make her help me? Killer's motive. Why would she be a target? My mother's not implied the witness should get the bell. Other than that, seems disoriented. Witness has police station. Witness didn't know the killer. The witness's mother's been missing a few days and she found her mom. I mean, I guess it must be this? No. Okay. I need to find a clue that I could have mis- I could have misinterpreted? What the fuck? There we go. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. Alright, listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not gonna say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and you need a detective.
the last case. Ashland Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I, I don't know. I get. I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the Bell Killer. Cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. We? Oh, come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. I would love to have a ghost friend. For now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. Seriously. <laughs> and Ronan is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet you uh, there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. It was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. No, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. Joy needs my help to find her missing mother, and she can help me track down the bell color. Oh, is that a new one? Oh, just outside police station. Okay, I can go back to the gas station now, which is what I wanted to do. Influence! Here we go. What does he remember about the accident? The mysterious bang. My paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. I never should have let that woman drive off. Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. Female driver. The cashier remembers a female driver. That can only mean one thing. Fuck's sake, Laura. See you! <laughs> Fuck's sake, Laura. Right, where was that dude again? Um. It took me ages the last time running around trying to find it, and I was like, I'd seen that. I already possessed that guy so many times. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. Um, I remember stopping to uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God. I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier His mouth isn't moving. Out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. oh, that whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you. Off he goes. Yay! Okay, we'll head this way, because I'm sure there was stuff near the Ashland Hill Cemetery area. There was like another case, I'm sure, like around the area. Yeah, we can't go that way. Where are we? Anything over here? Um, no. Oh, yes. And a cat. Why is there a cat that I can possess? 
Is there somewhere I can go as a cat? going aha wow nice seven more to uncover the eternal flame is this burning an eternal flame Say my name, sunshine through the rain of a life so lonely. Come and ease the pain. I don't want to lose this feeling. So there's stuff over here. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on that man. Ronan had all the boy swagger and I admit I liked it. But what I liked even more was the heart underneath that facade that he couldn't hide. He was a man from a rough neighbourhood but it hadn't hardened him as much as he let on. Is this burning yeah, there was definitely like a crying girl. In this area somewhere. But there's something over there's things here, so News article number two. Salem police have still not made an official connection among the recent violent deaths. Community speculation is increasing that this is the work of a single killer. In the absence of other connecting clues, the consistent thread is the strange bell-shaped symbol found at many of these crime scenes. No one has even the remotest theory on the meaning of the symbol, but this bell killer may have a personal reason for leaving this insignia. Ronan's childhood. Ronan's parents sound really sound unstable. It must have been really difficult for him growing up and feeling pressure to follow the unstable criminal's path his parents walked. And now he's my diamond in the rough. Such a sweet soul and strong enough to keep its sweetness with everything his parents put him through. It's rare someone with a legitimate reason to be frustrated with his parents and the way they raised him. Never once complained about it. He's a, such a better person than anyone realises. I thought she said earlier on that she liked his parents. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought she did. Cat again. Where can the cat go? This is such a daft mechanic, I love it. It's so silly. So stupid. I love it. Four more. Right, I don't want to go into the cemetery yet because... Yeah, here she is. Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. 
Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Alright. I'll look into it. Broken hearted. It doesn't take a detective to see that the woman is heartbroken. I should try to figure it out if her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. Is this the boyfriend? Are there any other clues? A very big area, but... Alright, okay, that worked. I still don't know why she killed herself. Oh. Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Yeah, that's not great. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. Ex-girlfriend suicide. It seems he only met his fiance after his ex-girlfriend committed suicide. So probably that one then. Oh shit. Oh well, I thought the suicide would be more important, but never mind. Maybe that's why he's always been so hesitant. I wouldn't blame him, but it sucks that she's the reason I even approached him. He looks so hurt and broken. Like he needed someone to talk to. Why does she sound like she's like 94? Weird how things work out. Huh. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. Is that guy hanging from the tree? Looks like the new girl only approached him because he looks so distraught and lonely. Did he cheat on her? No. Oh wait, the order of events are important. There we go. It seems this was something. Not sure how she'll take it, but so far now. She looks like news is he wasn't cheating on you the bad news is so he really loved me looks like it i've made a big mistake he still thinks about you maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten i suppose i just wish i had trusted him more maybe it could have been us getting engaged What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. Off she goes. We came through this bit. This is the bit with all the burning houses, which I'm sure must be the whole eternal flame thing. But. See, there's something in there. Do you think I need the cat? The cat's miles away. I don't even know if I can get the cat over here, to be honest. It's like, yeah, I don't know if I can even... Yeah, get the cat out of this, like, specific section. Yeah. Aw, cute. If she doesn't want to be in a relationship, she should be direct about it. Um. I see exactly what I mean. Why is that so hard to understand? Okay, what does she think? Don't even think it's the same guy. 
copycats. All of them. What if he's never caught? Does he just keep going? Okay, answer your line. Um, no. The dies. Jeffrey line grab. Jeffrey and Nancy line grab are having some relationship issues over here. Okay, well I assume we'll be back out here later anyway, so let's go into the cemetery. And we'll probably save when we get in there. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Sorry it's been so long, Julia. Objective complete. Get to Ashland Hill Cemetery. No objective. Find joy. I can't find joy. I am dead. Be meaning behind cheated death. I had to ask about that Grim Reaper tattoo. I know it says cheated death right on it, but I didn't know how or why, and then he showed me the scar. Getting stabbed between the ribs like that could easily have been fatal. It's a miracle he's alive, and it didn't stop him from stealing again. He'll never learn. Why do I like that? Oh, there she is, Julia O'Connor. I'm trying to see the date, but I can't. Can I go through water? No, I cannot. I am Ronin. I'm 39. I never learned how to swim. This is a whole ass other big area. We go up here. You okay? I don't know. I was so drunk. We both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. What? what Forget it. I know I should go. Bird dead. Come back. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret flashlight. Keep down. We're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. I wanna know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This kid, I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Just leave it to me. Determine if there's a light color markers here. Okay. 
Well, I think that's probably a good time to stop. We're into a new investigation now. But I will stop now and we'll continue. So, once again, thanks for